This is Aaron with Zolo Tech. Today we have the new Zag skins. These have been out about a month and they come in all sorts of patterns, but they all still come customizable. And Zag was kind enough to give me a code so that I could go in and customize my own. And uh, we're going to take a look at that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the skin. Now the nice thing about these, if you've ever had a Zag before, you actually have to spray you have to, to spray the to spray the uh, skin, then apply it wet. These have a no spray installation, making it a whole different step for Zag. And I'd wondered why people hadn't come out with these in the past. Right now I have a Zag skin on here, and I'm actually going to take this off. Uh, I've had this on here. You can see it's starting to peel a little bit. Uh, I'm going to leave the front on, um, but it's a uh, new skin, and we'll take a look at it. So first of all, let me go ahead and we'll show you this, and then we'll go ahead and take the back skin off of that. I'll do that off camera and uh, we'll get on to this skin. Now this I was really excited to get. Um, I'll just go ahead and show it to you. It's my logo, the Zolo Tech logo. Uh, I was able to design this on their site. You go to their site, they've got a nice little uh, Flash or Java applet. I don't remember what it is. I'm pretty sure it's Flash. You upload your photos. This is actually a uh, transparent photo. I put it over the colors of my site and this will fit on the back of my iPhone and cover the sides. And I think it's reusable. Uh, I don't know if I can s if I see that here anywhere. Uh, yeah, I don't see it on the on here, but I think it's a um, you can take it off, put it back on, and you don't need a spray to do it. And that's that's the great thing about it. So let me go ahead and take the zag skin off the back of this, get this all ready, cleaned up, and get this new uh, Zolo Tech logo on the back of it. I'll be I right. The back. iPhone. Uh, cleaned off. I took the, the the skin off of it. That was was a pretty quick task. does leave a little bit of glue residue here and there, but not too much. And it uh, just took me a second to clean off. So let's go ahead and see how uh, the instructions say to apply it. I'm assuming it's the same idea, but um, clean your device, peel your skin from the backing, align it, and apply. There's also a video online if you need help with that. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll try the top piece first. Um, so, okay, I can tell already, if you can see this up close, I'm not sure if you can, it's this uh, new 3M material that actually can stick and re-stick, and it works really well, and I had actually thought m uh, myself, why had someone not already come out with such a solution that Zag already did? Just because um, it seems to be, or it seems to make sense for the type of device, uh, type of application they have rather, to uh, not use the water and use this 3M material because it sticks and re-sticks. It's actually even a little washable, I believe, um, so you don't have to throw it away. You can use it over and over. So I have a little bit of problem aligning this. Let me get that perfect right there. Just smooth that around the corners and. And we've seen the Jella skins that actually um, cover this device pretty well, but it doesn't cover the chrome, and that's one downfall of the of the Jella skins. Um, this looks like it's going to cover the chrome just fine and nicely, and that'll be a plus. That'll be a bonus compared to some of the other offerings out there. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this on here. I'm not sure what I'm aligning it with though. That looks like the speakers. And, uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time to get it right. And there we go. And, of course, I'm anxious to try the back. Um, it's kind of cool to have my own logo on my phone. And the nice thing is, is say you ever need a refer or uh, replacement phone, rather, um, you can do that, and, and you're not going to lose your Zag skin. You're not going to have to buy another one because you can just reuse it. There's no problem in doing that. Okay, so that's pretty well aligned. If I need to change it after, I will. Because like I said, you can unpeel it and do it again. So let's go ahead and peel this off. I can get under here. It's 
see, and uh, just folded it in on itself and unfolded it. No harm there, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there. So, unstuck that. Now we do have this little piece for the camera. There we go. So, very nice material. You can see the back. It's uh, like a sticky gray material. And what we're going to do is line this up on the camera hole. It's a little bit tricky. The nice thing is, you don't have to worry about fingerprints or bubbles because there's this like micro texture underneath, underneath these things that actually um, protect the device. Oh, I don't know if I got that right. Let's see. Well, I did up there, but not on the bottom. So um, there's like these little crosshatch in the in the uh, tape, and what it does is it lets you push bubbles out pretty easily. See, I'm just peeling that back. Oh, and I forgot to pop this out of here for the volume rocker. That's probably a good way to line that up. I didn't see it because it wasn't pushed out. I didn't realize these uh, do actually fold fold around the device. And I'm a little bit shaky today. Maybe too much coffee or something. But uh, it folds around the device like that. There we go. And it's kind of a pain, but it's worth taking your time and getting right. Especially when you're done, because you've got a fully protected device. And that's, that's one thing I have to say that I'm, I'm really impressed with all these different companies that do skins. Um, I tend to like the texture of the Zag the best out of the different ones I've tried. I kind of like those. I don't know what it is about them, but they seem to have a nicer texture to them. So after quite a bit of manipulation, we're finally back, um, and I got this on here, I think, pretty good, uh, as well as any other Zag I've ever had on here, only this is my own custom skin, where it says Zolotech Tech News and Reviews, and uh, it's, it's as good as I had expected. Uh, they've got a great design tool online, and this is actually feels about the same material or same thickness as the normal Zag skin. Um, let me see if I have a piece of that here. Well, I do. It's kind of crumpled up, but this is the one I removed from it, and it gets kind of some gunk under it, and the problem is you can't clean it or fix it. This probably won't get that gunk under it, uh, if it does, you wash it and re-stick it. It uses nanotechnology um, that actually allows it to stick. And I'm not sure if they're using like the gecko feet type thing um, or or what it is, you know, where it actually will stick. But you can peel this off and stick it back as many times as you'd like. It never lost its stickiness either, even with me touching it. Uh, it is best to wash your hands beforehand just so that you don't uh, get any grease or oil on it from your hands. But covers the whole thing. And as you can see nicely on the side, um, that covers the, the chrome, both sides. Uh, that line is, well, I think that line's about right. It, it, this material stretches a little bit, so it's, it's kind of hard to get it perfect. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it feels very durable. I don't have any uh, fear of scratching the back, anything like that. And there's a ton of different designs. If you don't want to design your own design, um, you don't have to. They have a bunch of there you can, you can pick from yourself. Uh, it also... I think right now, uh, at least the other day when I looked, it was buy one, get one free. So you might want to check them out as soon as you can. These are the brand new Zag skins from Zag. Uh, Zag.com, check them out. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.